What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Benji. We are back balling, man. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and follow Hoops HQ, as well as all the all multiple social media platforms. Social media. Social media platforms are down in the description below, as well as popping up on the screen. We got great, 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 great important news. All right, man. So, Martin Luther Irvin is gone, man. He added a BX or BK or whatever y'all call it, Brooklyn, man. Kyrie is in Dallas. He got traded over there. He's going to be playing with Luka. The most random NBA news of the week. Because, honestly, I thought earlier in the season, there's a possibility they might have, you know, uh, moved Kyrie because he wasn't going to play. But I think this is honestly a situation where both teams are, are, are receiving a little bit of benefit. Or at least the Nets are probably just at a point where they're done with Martin Luther Irving. Because this dude has been a little bit more of a spectacle off the court for, for a good portion of his time that he's been in Brooklyn. And, I mean, truthfully speaking, he's been going crazy this year, though. I will say, since he's been able to suit up, the dude has been balling. Look at this. We've got 27 a game. He's shooting almost 49% for the field. Uh, five assists, five boards. Almost a block a game and a steal a game. And even when he was able to suit up last year, he was putting up nearly 27 a game. And the year before that, nearly 27 a game. And the year before that, 27 a game. So the guy has been playing offensively at another level um, since he's been in Brooklyn. But if you if you can see, I mean, we're talking about 40 games, which this season he's been actually on track to actually look like he was going to finish the season. 29 last year, 54 the year before that, and 20 the uh, year before that. Kyrie Irving has not seen much of the court in uh, Brooklyn. But when he's been out there, man, it's been obvious that he's been, he's been coming to play. But I guess with all the snags he's had going on off the court, I'm sure that they were like, that's fine. If if, 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 if there's probably a meeting in the minds that we're, they were actually not able to meet and they were absolutely okay with letting them roll. But, man... I think this is going to be an interesting scenario because, I mean, the way the Mavericks have been playing, it's been definitely a 2K ball for Luka to get off. Y'all know, man, we fans of Luka, man. You know what I mean? At one point, I, I believe Luka was seeing a little bit of early hype, but, man, I, I can't argue with the success that he's had on the court. Do y'all think that this is going to hurt Luka's stats or hurt Kyrie's stats? Do you think the, the both of them are going to be able to play? The reason I agree that they'll be able to play well together is because you can see guys like Spencer Dinwiddie, who has been playing with him. Uh, he's actually had one of his better seasons. And he's averaging t uh, 17 or almost 18 a game, shooting 41% from the three with Luka. You know what I mean? So he's, yeah, I mean, outside of a couple a couple years in Brooklyn, this is, I mean, one of, one of I mean, didn't we, he's been hooping, bro. Him and some of the side, the side pieces have been hooping. So I think that this is something that might work out for the uh, Mavericks, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know everybody thought the Le Le LeBron and the Lakers were going to get this guy. But yeah, it's it's looking clips for LeBron. I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, a lot of people don't believe that this is gonna be a scenario that works. The Nets were actually looking like they were finally finally put everything together, bro. You know, Ben Simmons has been playing. KD has been suiting up. A lot of the young guys have been stepping up. It's so interesting that Kyrie decides to leave in the midst of it all because the Nets were right at the top of the East. So I guess I guess I uh, see here. This is a good little graphic. It looks like they uh, are not well without Luca. But obviously, I mean, the offense they play is without Luca. I mean, it's only predicate of Luca. It's predicated on Luca's performances. All right. So I lose. <laughs> bro, look at this, bro. Luca, and again, we put a forty-five. No one else passed ten points. So you might see some games from Kyrie. But you honestly, you, I mean, the, the great thing about Kyrie and the strange thing about Kyrie is the one that he's an amazing player. 
one of my, like I said, the most skilled player ever suit up and is an offensive nightmare or a defensive nightmare, I'm sorry, you, you, you know, for the opposing team. But also, I mean, I don't think this helps the Mavs get better defensively because they don't play defense. So I don't know why you think putting Kyrie over there is going to help things out. But they got where Dinwiddie and Philly Smith. Philly Smith was at least one of the better on-ball defenders. But Kyrie, honestly, I think for the Mavs, this is kind of a jug for the talent that Kyrie Irving is. I mean, you're getting rid of Dinwiddie, who averaged 17 a game. But, I mean, let's see. Finney Smith, like I said, was one of the better on-ball defenders. But you're getting rid of Dinwiddie and a guy who averages nine points a game. Uh, but Finney Smith has, like I said, been been solid, I think, spotting up. And, like I said, I mean, he comes in and plays defense. I think that's interesting, though. Well, I think this helps. As you know, Kyrie and Luka are going to be able to put on some, some, some super skilled performances in the clutch. That is so crazy, though. Most random information of the day. Yeah, I don't know what the Lakers are doing. I thought by now the Lakers were going to be making some huge moves to swap some pieces, but I just not completely. This is kind of funny. Kyrie Irving, man, since his... Since his... Departure from LeBron James has been stuck in this loop where, you know, you can't, like I said, you just can't get too excited, bro. Because when this guy departed from Cleveland, man, when LeBron was gone with the Celtics, we all had an idea this is going to be a, a team with tight aspirations. <laughs> 